Are you single is the best question. <laughs> the first are question you, is... Are you single? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> are you single, sorry? <laughs> Do you have a patron who shoots and edits your videos with you? Oh, when do you want to come to America? <laughs> when do I want to go to America? Hmm. When do you want to come? Hi, it's Ruby Beauty. So today, as I promised you guys, I am going to do my um, 20 question and answer portion because uh, I want to celebrate my 20k subscribers. Actually, now I already have like around 20,500 subscribers so thank you so much guys first of all for supporting me with my vlogging journey thank you so much for uh, watching my vlogs I really appreciate it and it means a lot to me thank you so much okay so without further ado let's begin first question first question would be <laughs> first question is are you single? <laughs> wow. So oh, the first question. Am I single? <laughs> oh come. Why is this the first the first question? Okay. The answer is drum roll. <laughs> I'm single. Mm. What else can I say aside from I am single? Well, a lot of you guys are uh, are asking me if am I uh, ready to mingle also? Well the the answer is you're not ready to mingle? Why? You're at the right age. Why? Because you're too old. I'm not ready to mingle because I'm just focused on myself right now, I think. i happy to be single and, and I am enjoying. Yeah, she's correct. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying myself. I in, I'm enjoying my freedom. I'm enjoying my singleness. And... Um, I like to explore the Philippines more. I like to travel and little by little I think I am achieving that because of this vlogging. So I thank you so much guys for supporting me. Without all of you, I won't be here. <laughs> okay, next question. Enough for that. Today we are here in what? Bag of Beans by Charito or Charito's Bag of Beans here in Tagaytay? Bag of Beans by Charito's. Oh, Bag of Beans by Charito? Charito's. Uh, Bag of Beans by Charito's? Bag of Beans by Charito's. Charito's, Charito's talaga, tinagan na. Ah, Maria Charito. Okay, so today we are here in Bag of Beans at by Charito's. <laughs> here in Bag of Beans by Charito's here in Tagaytay and look at that view, we have a really beautiful view of Taal Volcano right in front of us. It's a beautiful day today here in Tagaytay. And mm, their food is really good. Do you, have... do you have a Patreon? I am thinking if I am going to open an account. But to be honest, I don't know what can I offer. <laughs> I don't really know. So what do you think guys? Should I open an account? Let me know in the comment section. What does your family think of you having a YouTube channel reaching around the world? Hmm. My mom, I think she's proud of me. <laughs> Are you? Kind of. <laughs> My father, actually I didn't tell him personally about it, but I found out that he knows about it because our neighbors told him. <laughs> so what was his reaction? He didn't say anything negative about it. I thought he will be like, why are you doing that? <laughs> you know, because my father is religious, you know. I think he supports me because he said a good luck. <laughs> so really? yeah, so I think my father is also proud of of it. I hope so. <laughs> Her dad is a bit traditional. My dad is and traditional. Old fashioned. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Okay. Next question. Why do Filipinos eat rice so much? Good thing I didn't order rice today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Filipinos love eating rice because I think the first, the main reason is um, it makes us full actually and it's very cheap. 
everywhere they go, there's always rice on the table. Because here in the Philippines, especially in the provinces, every meal we have rice because we can have any dish we want. Even if it's just a fish sauce with oil, that's already enough for some. But the important thing is the rice, because the rice uh, makes us full, gives us energy. So yeah, the main reason is because it's cheap and it's, it's a source it's of good. energy. Yeah, it's the best source of energy that we have here. Especially uh, to those who work in the farm. And uh, construction, something like yeah, that. So like a uh, strenuous job. Yeah, that is the most consumed food here. Yes. Even if we don't have dish, we don't have anything as long as there's rice. For some people, that's good enough. What are the three top places would you love to explore except your home country? So, first is Spain because of architecture, the Sagrada Familia, the beautiful buildings. I am so fond of architecture. I also want to experience their cuisine because I always watch uh, food documentaries. Their cuisine is so... I don't know, it's, it looks so classy, it looks so expensive, but it looks so good. And I think it, it's really good. I want to experience their cuisine. And then Norway, aside from I want to experience their culture, because I'm sure they have different culture, I want to experience the season or the time in Norway where the sun isn't setting. And also I want to see the northern lights in Norway. And also they said in Norway you can find the polar polar what do they call that? I forgot the term. <laughs> uh, polar polar star. <laughs> I don't remember. <clears throat> Third is Japan because firstly I want to experience their culture. Because we all know that Japan in Japan the people are very disciplined, they don't litter, their drainage are very clean, there are fishes even. Um, very organized. They're very organized. They're, that's what I said. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, it's high tech in Japan. I want to experience the, their industry, their high tech environment. So yeah, and it's very beautiful in Japan. You know, the cherry blossom. I want to experience it there. <laughs> My mom is complaining about the questions. Una kabasa nakamali. <laughs> because it's like this video is spontaneous, I didn't uh, let her prepare for this, so it's the first time that she read the, these questions. So she's just confused and she don't know how to do it because it's like the, you know, the name picker. Okay, so what's the next The questions question? needs to be edited. <laughs> I just copy-pasted it. Okay. Who shoots and edits your videos with you? Okay, good question. Um, I see a lot of comments there saying, show your husband, show your boyfriend. <laughs> but actually, the, uh, my cameraman, my camera, cameraman are my friends and whoever is available to help me at that time that I need a cameraman. So, uh, mostly are my friends. Sometimes it's my mom. <laughs> And then uh, when I'm in the province, my friends and my sister. Um, and then when I am in Manila, my workmates or just my friends really, because I have friends in Manila who are from the, my province also, who's working in Manila. So sometimes I call them if they're available, they can help me. Who edits my videos? It's me, I'm so proud. <laughs> I edit my videos. It's so difficult to edit, to be honest, because it's like you have to tell a story aside from me telling a story you have the video has to tell a story also it has to be creative in some way so that it won't be boring i think even though most of the time i think my videos are boring but <laughs> i try my best to like edit them creatively and tell a story through the video through the edits so it won't be that um, boring even my thumbnail, I edit my thumbnails. But sometimes I ask my friends because uh, I have friends who help me actually. It's like a teamwork. So I ask them about, is this thumbnail okay already? Or is, 
is my my title too you know too boring do i have to make it more like a clickbait <laughs> or do i have to like revise the the title something like that and on the video also i ask my friends if my edits are good already or if they want to add something if they th i ask their comments if it's good enough or is it boring and sometimes they help me with it they actually give me ideas on how to make it more like funny make it more um, dynamic so yeah it's actually a teamwork but it's me who really who do the editing on the computer next okay, question nice. their food here is so good actually we ordered bulalo Bulalo is actually uh, a soup with beef shanks and with vegetable. Actually, Bulalo is a famous, famous dish here in the Philippines. And what's so famous about Bulalo is the bone marrow. Everyone loves bone marrow. When you eat that, it's like just melting in your mouth. It's so good. But of course, Bulalo is uh, a fatty dish. But Filipinos love fatty dish. If you had one wish granted to you, what would you do with it? What would I do with it? Or, I don't know, maybe if it was me, what would it be? Yeah. <laughs> if I had one wish, what would it be? If I had one wish, I wish that Philippines will grow, will develop, will be better. I hope the Filipinos have a better life. I hope, I wish that Filipinos uh, experience better standard of living that is my wish I hope it will come true <laughs> but this I feel like it's impossible <laughs> well at least it's not for yourself it's for the country because actually my next topic is about that again which part of the Philippines do you live in do you have a chat name? Uh, my province is in Tarlac. I also live in Pangasinan. And, um, but currently, I am in Manila because I am working. And if I have a, a chat mate, I don't have a chat mate. Well, I have chat, I'm chatting my friends who are in other countries. I don't know if I call that chat mate, but if it's chat, what you mean by chat mate is like online dating? No, I am not. This is fish fillet. It's so good. Even their fries is not filet. This is fish filet. Yeah, but it's not filet. For what? I don't know, but it's not filet. It's filet, see? Filet yung matcha, not filet. Ibang filet walang buto. Ibig sabi ng filet walang buto. We don't even know what is filet. If you choose to live in the province near where you grew up, would you want to get? or build a bigger house with modern amenities? Actually, I want a mixed design, mixture of a native or traditional and modern. That is possible. What I'm thinking is I want to, to have a big land, a big terrain, um, and preferably rolling terrain because I want a split, split level design of a house. And I want a big veranda. I want to, to reserve a a space, a big space for where me and my friends or my nephew can play or where I can um, organize it and do the landscaping really, really good. That's what I'm imagining. And in, inside the house is where I am going to have it modern. And then outside I want to have like Kubo, it's a traditional house in the Philippines where it's made of wood. I want to place some of that around my around my house maybe in the backyard so when my friends come and it's raining there is a place for us to hang out you know a modern veranda where i want to place a lot of beautiful lights on the stair on the on the plant box that's what i'm imagining of my house would you like a, a modern kitchen i like a modern kitchen i like kitchen because i love cooking i love experimenting I want to cook a lot of good food that I see on social media actually. It's so easy to cook now because of all the recipes that you want to do. It's all over social media. 
so there is no excuses anymore. It's so easy to cook now. I can even do them at home, and I only have like a one uh, induction induction cooker, just one cooker, and I just have two pans. So sometimes it's making it a little bit difficult for me to cook. I cannot even bake, but I'm imagining my kitchen to be a large one and um, complete with um, cooking equipment. And I, I want to have a beautiful island counter with, ah, I'm imagining all the designs already, but it's just in my head <laughs> for yeah, now. She knows about something construction because uh, she works in, as a construction worker before. <laughs> <laughs> I work a, I work as a laborer before. <laughs> sure, she knows about something about uh, the sand. Yeah, I mix I mix the cement and the sand <laughs> and the pebbles. Really you marry a western man and move back with him to his country. If the right person comes along it doesn't matter uh, to me where uh, we would live. If it's in the Philippines, it's okay. If it's in his country, it's fine. As long as he respects me, he accepts the way I am. And of course, vice versa, because we love each other. And he, as long as he accepts that I'm going to take care of my uh, nephew. <laughs> my nephew is my favorite person in the world. And by the way, her nephew is not her son, okay? Because some people ask if he really is her nephew. Really? Yes. They ask that? I don't yes. see comments like that. Yes, I did. I saw it. Yeah, he's not my son. He's my sister's son. <laughs> he's my nephew. I know we look alike. We have a lot of similarities. And it's almost, uh, it looks almost like my son. But I don't really care if they say that. They want to think that, okay. What inspired you to start a YouTube channel and what was your breakthrough video that enabled you to get monetized? Actually, um, it was a, a team idea. It was an idea with my friends and we all started this channel. It's not just me, but what inspired me to do, to discuss or to share things about my country is the people itself here in the Philippines. I want to share what is really happening in the Philippines. How really Philippines is. How are the people here really doing? How are we really? I want to be transparent. I don't want to just uh, to just say all the good things because I know everywhere there are good things and there are bad things. And most of the vloggers say about the good things here in the Philippines and almost all of you knows about the good things already, right? I want to do it uh, in a di different way. I want to be honest with everything, every single thing here in the Philippines. That's what I want to do. That's what inspired me. She started with like fitness video. Ah yeah, I forgot to say that, to mention. I started with fitness video because uh, in the first place, you know guys that I am I really want to like make people understand that health is very important, that exercising is very important, that being fit is really important. I was not targeting foreigners, I was targeting the, I want to inspire the Filipinos, the Filipino women to do the same as I do, to be fit, to think that being fit is good, uh, being healthy is, uh, should be also a priority. Yeah, eat healthy and live healthy, exercising is very important, you know. Make us strong, it relieves stress, um, it makes us young, makes us fit, uh, good looking, I think. <laughs> and uh, the first video, my breakthrough video is, there, there were five videos already at the time when I started monet, uh, monetizing. Those five videos where I started talking about Philippines and the women and relationship. Culture and the culture, it's uh, those five videos started gaining a lot of views. Combining all of the views and all of the subscribers that I got from those five videos, um, yeah, I started monetizing. So I started monetizing just... Three months after. No, like, no, like we created the channel February, I remember. February? February. February. And I uh, got monetized. April 22. February. March, April. So three months. February, March, April. 
two two months. Two months. After two months, I she got monetized. Uh, yeah, I got monetized. And everyone's like shocked, even me. I was like, I thought that's normal, actually. I thought that's normal. But they told me, no, it's not normal because the other people, like, they've been vlogging for years already and still they're not monetizing and they're not having a lot of views, not having a lot of subscribers. So they said, I am um, really different. My channel is really different. And I said, well, really, I've, I'm grateful if it's like that. I'm so lucky then. I'm so blessed. I feel so blessed. What is one surprising thing that most people don't know about you? Uh, <laughs> what? Is there any? I don't. I can't think of any. <laughs> I, me also. I don't know. What is a surprising thing that they don't know? I don't have anything. There's nothing special about me. <laughs> uh, I think. Um, well, I cannot think of anything. Skip. I think I'd have to. I think I, yeah, I have to skip the question because I couldn't think of anything that people would would be surprised knowing. <laughs> Maybe I should ask my friends next time. <laughs> oh, I'm talaga may isip ko. Ano ba? Ang tinatago mo? Wala. I am not keeping any talent. I don't have talent. Maybe I can. Maybe I can sing, but I can only sing in the bathroom. <laughs> or... I don't know. There's really nothing. Nothing, nothing special. special. <laughs> I have nothing special. Nothing extraordinary. Yeah. I'm not, I'm just, what you get. I'm just an ordinary person. There's nothing special. Nothing to be surprised about. <laughs> Okay. My mom analyzes the questions first before she say it. And because I have to edit it. <laughs> I have single cousins. Would you consider marrying an American someday? Like I said, if that American, <laughs> I don't know, whoever it is, but if he's the right person, then of course I would marry him. If he's the right person. If it's God's will, if it's uh, what he's time. saying, what he's saying was, he has a single, he has single cousins. I think he wants to uh, set you up. No, I don't like setting up. <laughs> I don't like these cousins. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I feel awkward. I'm shy. <laughs> I'm shy. I'm a shy you person. You're a public yeah, uh, I am a... figure, but you said you're shy. <laughs> I'm not public figure. I'm not celebrity. <laughs> Yeah, I have YouTube, right? But I am really in in real life. I am a shy person. I'm very shy. Actually, uh, she's a bit uh, traditional. Yeah, right. Uh, um, with that touch of a modern woman. Uh, uh, actually, I have a little bit modern. combination of yeah. modern and uh, old fashioned. Yeah. Like, as I said in my videos before, I'm a little bit, I'm a combination of a city girl and province girl. Because my, I think my morals are more into traditional, traditional more traditional, but my, my actions are a little bit modern, modern a little bit city. <laughs> I'm getting more nervous, you know. My mom is internalizing the questions. I don't have to read it. <laughs> She's like... <laughs> She's like answering it already in her head. Oh, when do you want to come to America? <laughs> when do I want to go to America? Uh, I know uh, um, a lot of my, most of my, my followers and my viewers are from the U.S. But to be honest, I don't have any plans to go to America because I know how it expensive it is there. Since your channel is growing, has anyone recognized you while you were out and about? There are some people who start recognizing me and it's really an awkward feeling because I'm not used to it. I feel like a celebrity <laughs> but I don't really like the feeling of that. But I think that's normal, right? I think that's normal. She's the person who doesn't like the uh, center of attention. I don't like, yeah, but I am a vlogger. <laughs> I mean, what can I do, right? 
did you go to college? If so, what college did you go to and what did you study? Yeah, I finished college and I went to University of the Cordilleras in Baguio City and I have a bachelor's degree. <laughs> So she spent uh, six years or seven years in college, I think. I'm not a good student. <laughs> would you marry a foreigner and does age matter to you? Or would you marry a foreigner that is older than me? <laughs> older than who? Than you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so... I honestly think that age doesn't matter because for example, um, you fell in love with someone or you ended up liking someone and then you don't know that your age gap is 15 years. I mean, maybe the guy or 20 years old, I mean, maybe the guy or the girl looks uh, young and then you, you fell in love or you ended up liking them. So you, you cannot really say that age matters because you fell in love with someone regardless of the age, you fell in love. So I think it really doesn't matter in reality. Um, but if, in my opinion, me, I mean for me personally, it doesn't matter but it matters to my mom. <laughs> so my mom is, how old are you? They're 47 years old, right? Mom is 47 years old. Um, she wants us to find someone who is, I don't know, close to our age maybe or like not more than 10 years older than us. That's what she prefers. Uh, mouse knows best. <laughs> so, um, yeah. My mom doesn't want uh, me to marry, if ever, uh, a guy that is like 10 years older than me. So they say, what if um, an older guy but has a lot of money? For me, it doesn't matter if he has money or not. As long as um, he can provide and take care of my daughter and respect her and love her and accept her the way she is, so it's not it's not really about the age and about money. If you are with no family, could you work in a foreign country and make eighty thousand per month, or live in the Philippines and and make twenty k per month? Which would you choose, and why? Uh, it depends on what country. I would want to work in another country and earn 80k per month if the country is a country that I would want to explore or visit, like Switzerland, Norway, Spain, you know, Iceland, Iceland. <laughs> There's a job opportunity there, but if it's if it's uh, if it's a country where I don't have the I don't have the decision to choose, no, I will just stay in my country with my small salary. Did you get the idea from other YouTubers in the Philippines doing the same, or? Did the idea come to you out of nowhere and you then found out you were the first? I uh, wouldn't say that I just, uh, the idea just popped up in my mind because I would be lying if I say that. I mentioned it before, I saw a vlog, a Filipino vlogger doing this and that time, it, um, like four months ago, when I started doing vlogs like this, we saw that vlog of her. She was still, uh, she was like around 9,000 9, followers at that time, like four months ago. And my friends like, um, since I can speak English, why don't we also do that? You have a lot of knowledge about, uh, you have a lot of uh, things to share about our country and about other culture, you have a, a lot of knowledge, not just our culture here in the Philippines, but also Western culture. So I think this um, genre or this niche suits you, they told me. So, and I said, okay, I can do that. Because yeah, it's true. I have a lot of things to say about my country. I have a lot of things to say also about 
Western, even if I'm not an expert about Western countries, but at least about my country, I have a lot of things to say. I have honest opinion about it. And so, also, she didn't expect that it would click. Yeah, it's, and she it's, didn't expect that she would monetize in a short period of time. Yeah, it's almost like an accidental um, growth for me, the channel, because I was like, my friends are so, um, so serious about creating a channel. And me, I was like, okay, it's up to you. I will just follow you, just like that. Like, I did what they they want me to do, and then I just like decided to, okay, I will do that anyway. In my mind, anyway, it's just like for fun, right? <laughs> I didn't expect that it's going to grow in a in a short time. So yeah, and then I just ended up. Um, getting serious about it already because I know there's a lot of people watching my vlogs so I need to do the job seriously since that time. This one is last one. Any hobbies or things you like to do? Hobbies and things that I want to do. Working out. Yeah, number one is working out, exercising. If I have a free time, then I would exercise, I would work out. I would always spare time to work out, even if it's just 10 minutes, even if I'm so busy. I feel like you know, I feel like my body is so addicted to it. When I don't exercise, I feel like I'm getting weaker. So I feel like I'm going to get sick, you know. Especially also when I'm so stressed. Sometimes I'm also lazy, but I always push myself to, to do something, to exercise, to move my body. I know that's healthy. And when I'm stressed, when I'm stressed and I feel low, when I and then I work out, I feel alive. I feel inspired again. I feel motivated again. So I love working out. I love exercising. And second is cooking. I love cooking also. I'm experimenting on dishes and the things that I see on social media, I just copy them and then Voila, it's so easy. I think that's all for today and I hope I answered your questions um, correctly. I think there's no wrong answer, but that's all my opinion. I hope you're, you guys are satisfied with my answers. So right now, I am going to continue my meal. This is like breakfast, brunch, lunch, I don't know. Now we're going to eat the bulalo and we still have the salad here. This is 